thank you very much. Like I said, unfortunately, I lost photos of most of my work when we lost our home the very first time. Um, but I do have some because I have some that people have sent me. And then I have a couple that were actually stored to uh, my Microsoft OneDrive. So because everybody's asking, here we go. So this is a karambit that I actually made for a military um, person. Uh, I hand drifted the hole because this was an old uh, file uh, for filing metal, ironically enough. Um, this is oh, about halfway through the process of me making it right after I had heat treated it. Um, I had decided to make a unique kind of machete almost. Uh, for somebody, upon their request, uh, they brought me an old farrier's rasp, of all things, and asked me if I could stretch it out and uh, make a blade out of it, so I did. Uh, we called this the mermaid blade because the, the old farrier uh, rasp, you could still see it, and it looked like a mermaid scales in it. And this is a deer antlered hunting knife. Um, uh, the old assistant I had actually took the picture for me, and they're the one that sent it to me. This is me working on it about halfway through. This is the dry fit of the antler and guard. Um, that's why you can see the small gap up at the top. But yeah, that's literally all the surviving photos I have. I'm currently getting ready to work on a double-sided um, one-handed axe, actually, like a battle axe. Uh, for uh, my boss of all people and uh, a couple of other projects that have come in and of course everybody's going to be able to see that because I'm going to do it on TikTok and I also have a YouTube channel that people can find the link in my bio um, where I actually am planning to post full length videos of stuff that I can't put on this app of me forging so yeah there is that but yeah I appreciate it and I hope everybody likes the pictures because like I said those are not the finished product those are maybe halfway through the process